This is probably the best overdrive pedal I have ever played. Check it out. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Seems like a minute since I did a video on a pedal, a very, very cool pedal. Now this here, this lovely, lovely pedal is the Nordland ODRC 30th anniversary. Now, what is this? Well, this is basically a Nobles ODR1, but the 30th anniversary edition of it. Now this pedal is built by Nordland Pedals and Kai Takebina, who was the original engineer who worked on the development of what became the Nobles ODR1. And 30 years ago, he actually finished development of the pedal and the first prototype was completed. And this is a celebration of that completion, 30 years ago. The pedal was then subsequently released by Nobles few months later in March of the following year which was 1993. Now the ODR1 has a real cult following these days. It was used by guys like Gary Moore, Guthrie Trap. It's very much revered by the Nashville guys because it's a very very open sounding overdrive pedal and it used to be referred to as the other green pedal. <laughs> we all know what the other green pedal is. I have one of those as well but this is something very very special because um, Unlike the other pedal, which can have a slight nasal quality, this has a very, very open quality to it. And when I did the track, which you just heard, it sounds phenomenal. Absolutely lovely sounding pedal. Rhythm tracks I did just with the pedal. Everything turned up to 11. Yeah. <laughs> like you do with the level as well. Um, the thing was, um, what I did was uh, I used the level as another boost into my amp as well. And that just works wonderfully well. As long as the level and the um, op amp in the pedal is very, very good and clean sounding. On this one, it is phenomenally clean sounding. So when I pushed the front end of my amp with the overdrive as well, wow, that was heavenly. Uh, that's all I needed. Rhythm tone right there. It's got such a beautiful chewy tone as well. Now, these pedals are very, very, very special. Now, um, Kai has added a couple of additional features to this pedal, which is the 30th anniversary uh, version of the pedal. 
Now, it um, originally came with the spectrum control and the mid control. And these are really powerful functions on the pedal and they really help you to dial in your tone exactly how you want. The spectrum control is actually a combination control. So unlike a lot of pedals where you have a tone control which does a single thing, it boosts or cuts a single frequency, this does a combination of frequencies. So while it's increasing the treble, it's also increasing the lower mids as well. So around 250k is boosted when you're boosting the treble as well. Now when you turn it down, it actually lowers both of the frequencies as well. And it allows the 800k frequency to shine out. So you can have either or. You can dial in more low end and also high end, or you can kind of have the hump going the other way, which is very, very cool in a single control. Now, in addition to that, you also have the mid control. Mid controls around 1K, which is a sweet spot for me. I love boosting the mids around that point on my guitars. So having a, a control which is gonna let me dial in exactly how much 1K I want, heaven. <laughs> Absolute genius. Makes it super, super versatile. Um, I usually have my mids really high, so, you know, more is more, right? <laughs> Anyways. Very, very cool controls the combination of those two. Underneath that, you have the low cut knob as well. And what this does is if you want to tighten up the sound, then you can start turning that up and it basically kind of tightens up your, your guitar tone. So if there's too much bass, too much fluffiness, then you can actually dial that out. Additional feature which this um, adds is when you start turning it up and if you turn it up all the way, it actually adds a little bit more gain to compensate for the gain loss which you experience when um, you turn down the low end as well. So fantastic additional feature which you have in there. Now unlike the original Nobles version, this actually has a knob in the middle which says ODC. This is overdrive decompression. Yeah, you just heard me right. Overdrive decompression. Now what this does is it actually adds dynamics back into your playing, especially when you're driving the pedal hard. Now when you start using overdrive, when you start using level like you do and start pushing an amp, basically it starts to compress so all of your dynamics start to kind of get a bit squished and everything sounds very, very kind of same level. What this does, it reverses the process. So it allows you to have high gain, but with all the dynamics of your playing. Does such a fantastic job. It's probably my favorite feature on this pedal. Now, I actually have one of these, which I purchased a while back. I have the little one. I bought this a while back and I loved the decompression uh, function on it because I could feel it. When I was playing it, um, I could actually feel how the dynamics were coming back. I always look for that when um, I'm playing an amp or a pedal. I want all of those details of what's going on on my fingers to be translated to what's being recorded. And it's such a lovely, lovely feature to use. I usually have it turned up to about hmm, two o'clock. That's a sweet spot for me. All right, in addition to that, we have a high and low gain setting on here as well. This is one of the additional features to the pedal. Now what this does is when you're in low gain mode, it actually allows you to fine tune the pedal so that you can get some really good boost sounds out of it and very, very low gain overdrive sounds. So I used that mode in um, the clean section of the track, which you heard. So what I wanted to do was just dial in my SLO on the clean channel, very, very clean, but I wanted a little bit more kind of push to it. And it just compressed the channel just a little bit and added some warmth to it as well. And then I could use the EQ to dial in the exact tone that I wanted with the guitar that I was using. And this does a fantastic job. It changes the LED color from blue to red when you put it into low gain mode and um, high gain mode, it just goes nuts. It's awesome, I love the high gain mode. <laughs> more gain please, yeah, um, I always like more gain. So um, I use both of these. There is one additional feature which is inside the pedal, which I will show you on screen right now. It is a presence switch. Now what the presence switch does is it switches in a little bit more high end. And I love that on the on position. In fact, I'm gonna give you a comparison in a second of the switch off and then on. Adds a little bit more grit and bite to the high end on the pedal. I love it in that um, mode where the presence is on because it does feel like there's a little bit more push 
from the um, the pedal and when I recorded uh, with it I basically had it on all the time because more is more right more is more <laughs> The other thing that's inside the pedal as well, you can actually adjust the level of the LED. So if you want it really bright, like I like to have it, then you can turn it up or you can turn it to the middle or you can turn it low if it's too bright for you as well. I like to have it very shiny, so I turn it up all the way. Beautiful, beautiful pedal. These are gonna be limited editions, so head over to Norton's website and check them out. In fact, when I got mine, I actually got a little certificate with it as well, which is just awesome. <laughs> In fact, I was totally blown away when I received this because I was looking at the pedal and I was thinking, wow, that looks awesome. It's such a beautiful pedal. You know, it's got the uh, white finish, which is limited edition, and then the the gold lettering on it as well, the gold switch, etc. It looks really classy. And then I um, looked at the back. I'm looking at it and thinking, ah, great, it says 30th anniversary. Then I read the serial number. <laughs> say zero 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 two <laughs> so huge thanks to Kai for sending me the second one of this pedal that's just awesome love it love it love it so head over to the website check it out it is such an awesome awesome beautiful pedal to play feels so good you know what it's gonna be hard picking up my other green pedal after using this with my amps I used this in a number of ways on the track um, into the clean channel of my SLO for the rhythm tracks so uh, all the distortion you heard on the rhythm tracks was from this and also the uh, clean rhythm which I played it was just being pushed by the low mode on this pedal. For my lead guitar parts what I did was I actually pushed the front end of my plexi with this and my plexi absolutely adores this pedal. It loves this pedal. Yeah, I think it's a match made in heaven. <laughs> this and the plexi. Wow, that, that was a great lead tone. It felt so good to play. The dynamics were there and it just pushed it enough without saturating it too much, if that makes sense. So it felt lovely to play the amp um, on all of those lead parts. Very, very smooth, but also very dynamic as well. So. Um, all of my picking was picked up when I was doing the recording. All of my mistakes were picked up as well, which is why I did a few takes of some of the lead parts, <laughs> which you didn't get to see. <laughs> but it did pick up everything, and that was wonderful. Alrighty, guys and girls, fantastic pedal. Go check it out. Go check out the website. There's a history of the pedal on there as well, which is very, very cool to read. Awesome job, Kai, for building this pedal. and. Um, you can have yours as well. Remember, it's limited edition, so grab yours now. Have a fantastic day, and if you haven't done so already and you dig contents like this, please do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. Helps me out so much to grow my channel and you will get notified when a new video comes out as well. Have a phenomenal day. I'm gonna show you that track again with this awesome pedal, the Nordland ODRC 30th anniversary. See you later, have a great day, bye.